Hey beautiful people, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler, and this is the Virgo reading. Please bear in mind that all of my readings are timeless and you'll find the guidance that is right for you when you need to hear it, whether that is today, next week, next month. Trust in divine timing. Okay, so we're going to start with the Angel Answer cards to get an overall energy for today's reading. Then we're going to use the Inner Child Tarot deck to for the main part of the reading. And then for the extended reading, we're going to use Lightseer or Troubadour Tarot. I haven't quite decided yet. We'll see how the reading goes and where we're heading. Okay, so Virgo, what do you need to know? What's, what's your next week about? Where are you at? Do, 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 do. Remain positive. And as I pick that card and as I was shuffling, I feel like you're quite distracted. I feel like you're quite distracted. You're, it's like you've got too much going on in your head about now, the past, the future, what you've to do, what you've not to do. It's like you cut you're not very in the moment because you're so distracted with your thoughts and all what's going on around you <laughs> then we've got this next card out is helpful people so it's like you need to accept support you need to allow others to help you because you can't do everything and actually it feels very much like you've got more important things to do than waste your time with the non not so important stuff i feel like there's trying to get a balance where you're at so you can feel happier within yourself more just feel like I want focus, I want clarity. And while you're not focused, while you're in distraction mode, you're struggling to keep your thoughts positive of where you're heading forward because you're struggling to see past the, all the stuff you've got to do. Deep breath. Let's take a step back, Virgo. Take that step back and take a deep breath and know that not everything needs done today not everything can be done today and there needs to be a bit of priority and one of those priorities needs to be you okay so allow others to help you it's not a sign of weakness it's a sign of strength and showing the universe that you're wanting life to be easier you're wanting to be more supported allow yourself to be supported I feel like you just need some time out some quiet time to just sit and be and sort of sort all those feelings out let's have a look what the tarot will bring to this situation it's like you're you are here physically but you're not because your thoughts aren't here and it's just like way too disjointed going on around you and you just need that isolation time, that quiet time to really connect with yourself. You are allowed to take that. You are allowed to say, no, I'm not doing anything. I need to do this for me today. Okay, take that time for you because it will bring the changes you need. It will bring that transformation. I want to say within yourself. Because you're needing to be moving forwards. And you need to find peace within your heart about moving forwards. Because while you're all in different directions, not really knowing clarity moving forwards, it's just a bit up in the air. It's disjointed. <laughs> and you need to be clear, you need to be moving forward with peace.
Okay, so we've got the Guardian of Crystals as well. You have got a lot of support there. You've got physical support around you. You've got the Helpful People card. But I also feel that there's support from the angels coming in for you as well. It's like they're holding your world. They're lifting you up. They are supporting you and holding the space for you. Take the time you need because it will bring about that inner transformation. What? It's hard to find out why you're feeling so disjointed, why you feel so distracted. But then we've got the Child of Wands, which is that transformational energy moving forwards quite quickly. But it needs to be when you've made the decision. It needs to be when you've made the decision, when you're more clear, when you are not focusing on all the stuff which isn't important. It needs to be more prioritised, okay? Because then we have the Ten of Hearts. So, all this distraction in your head is definitely love-related. There's definitely a love-related energy to that distraction. And... Why are you distracted? Because you're just not feeling comfortable with it? Or you, you're... It's like you can't believe it's happening, you can't see it's going to happen. You're not sure if you want it or not. There just feels so many not sure, unsure feelings. Take the time to find clarity of exactly what you want, exactly what you don't want. Focus on the positive of what you do want because that love is waiting for you. That ultimate love which you do genuinely want but you just need to sort out your feelings and find some peace within yourself you can and that will bring your transformation listen to your heart take the time you need for you okay Virgo I'm going to head over to the extended reading now to get some more information about this love situation which is coming in which seems to be Causing you sort of a tug of war within and you're like putting the barriers up like step back, stand back. Um, if this is where you leave me then thank you so very much for joining me. As always it is a pleasure. Please do like and comment on the video if you feel drawn. If you haven't already please hit that subscribe button. I truly do appreciate each and every single person supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do take care, stay safe and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Namaste. Bye.